welcome to video number two. If you stuck around after that intro, thank you. I appreciate that. Now, today I wanted to get started with a quick walk around of our new family member, our C10, it's our 1984 C10, black on black. Her name's Val. She has a personality, so be kind to her. And my wife named this truck Val because we actually got her on Valentine's Day. Fun fact. Let's take a look. Oh, and a quick shout out to my wife. Thank you so much for being supportive and for being so excited to pick up this truck like I was. Thanks. Look at this beauty. So, I needed a truck, something I could use to pick up parts for projects and maybe tow some things around without having to wait around for someone to be available or bug some people whenever things came up or so. Um, well, for three years, I've been looking for a truck. But Jay, why not buy a new truck, you may ask? Well, I'm the type of person that would rather buy a used car or truck instead of buying a new and suffer depreciation as soon as I drive it off the dealership. But more on that later. Let's take a look at Val and let's see what we got inside. All right, follow me, guys. All right, so first, let's take a look underneath. Got a nice clean chassis. Look at that thing. A minor surface rust here and there, but it's freaking clean, man. Pretty good. Stop looking at my pipes. All right, uh, gasket, blah, 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 nothing crazy. Sorry, I gotta try doing these in better daylight. I'll work on that. But this looks pretty good. Yeah. Now, I'm not too knowledgeable on these wheels, but they look pretty good. Nice star pattern. Now, the body itself, you know, it needs a bit of love as far as the paint, but I'm sure we can, you know, buff the saddle a little bit. Uh, now, let's see, is it original paint? You can usually tell by the door on the, the gas door. Seems to be good. Seems original. Yeah, it's pretty good. Bumper still got some chrome. Back looks pretty straight up. This is kind of crooked. Ah, uh, we can fix that. Got the Chevy sign. And, uh oh. Yeah. Looks like you got hit somewhere. So this taillight is good. This one looks like it got hit at some point. Might have to replace that. Let's take a look at the bed. Well, ah, uh, crusty. Yeah. All right. I mean, those look pretty good, actually. Yeah, not bad. Bed seems like in good shape. Echo, echo, echo. I know I'm a little weird. But, you know, can't apologize for that. Yeah, it looks pretty good down here. You have to take this cover at some point. Just gotta figure out how. Alright, let's look at the front. So the owner I got it from was this lady, probably in her 40s. I'm not sure. I didn't want to ask. You know, I want to be polite. Um, but she did have two kids. Or, yeah, she just had a new kid. Yeah, she had a boy. And then a new a newborn, so she felt like this wasn't practical, and she just got a new uh, Chevy truck or Silverado, so she wanted to get rid of this. I think she had it for a very long time. Sorry, I'm just messing around with this Velcro. Seems like for some reason it's pretty stretched on this end, and the other side's pretty good. So I uh, play with this. So she did love it. She's had it for a long time. It was uh, pretty hard to watch to uh, for me to take it. Um, out of her driveway, me and her kid, I'll show you guys a video. Her kid was crying and running towards the truck while it was getting put into the bed truck, into uh, the flatbed, pardon me. So that, that was pretty nice in the way that, I mean, not the kid crying, but it was nice that it was well taken care of and you know, hopefully it was showing as much love as it, it's worth. These trucks are getting pretty hard to find in good condition, well treated and all that without requiring thousands of dollars on it. So 
I saw this as an opportunity and I had to grab it. But anyway, sorry for the background noise. Let's take a look inside, okay? Actually, so this seems to be pretty good. Now out here, you know, this is pretty rusty all around. And you can kind of see how it's like dry, dry. On the other side, it's pretty bad. I'll show you in a bit. Mirrors are pretty good. Batch is all right. The side mark is good. The headlights kind of seem like three out of the four are changed. You can kind of see one, two, three. And then this one seems like a little bit of a off color. So maybe three headlights, the turning signals that were changed at some point, and then this was just left over or the other way around. I don't know, but it seems to be okay. Lights work, everything works. Uh, something's up with the silver auto sign. You can kind of see how it's broken off right there. It's cracked, it does this up. Yeah, we'll fix that, not a big deal. Anyway, so this is what I was telling you guys. This is uh, pretty bad. I'm getting kind of like a whistling sound too. So that kind of sucks. This whole assembly. Now, I've been in touch with uh, LMC Truck. Uh, I'm sure you guys know about them. And uh, they're gonna get these in stock. They get sold out pretty quickly, but uh, I've been in touch with them and in a few weeks, I'm gonna be able to order their new batch. Um, so you can get a whole assembly, which would be pretty good. And we can replace that. And I'll make a bit of a tutorial if I can figure out how to do it myself. Now, let me show you guys my crack. It's the crack I'm at, right between the two. Let's see if I can get that to focus, maybe. Eh, it's not too bad. All right, so I'm just trying to show you. There's just dirt and leaves and stuff back there, but overall seems okay. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's taking any damage. You know, the whole thing seems straight. Now, notorious uh, rust. I mean, this is nothing. This is surface rust. Doesn't even come off my finger. But, ugh, cab corners. Rot. Cancer. I will take care of that at some point. For now, we'll leave it alone. Hopefully it doesn't spread too quick. Uh, over here, just some uh, surface rust. But down there, it seems pretty good otherwise. Let's see the other side. Alright, so far, eh, also surface rust, rust, well, surface rust, but, uh, another cap corner, cancer! Alright, well, don't worry, girl, we'll give you some love. Alright, so, let's go inside and see how the interior looks, shall we? And this is where my wife sleeps, apparently. Uh, um... Are you alive? Hello? Hmm. I got an idea. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. That should work. Hmm. Guess I need my fingers on that one. Ah, she's still awake. You alive in there? Oh, wow. She lives! This is a public service announcement. The wife has awakened. Goodbye. Thanks. <laughs> now let's look at the interior. Right, so, I'm sure you guys have seen a seat time before, but just showing you the cars look pretty good. Door is pretty good. Underneath looks pretty clean. Now here's the only thing. Now I tried hitting it with a screwdriver, so the fact that I didn't get a hole out of it, uh, that's pretty good, but Looking under the seal, uh, cancer, cancer. Yeah, we really have to take care of that. Maybe seal it up for now until we get to it. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going all the way through. It seems to be stopping around here. So that's promising. All right, uh, inside, looks pretty stock. Not, not many modifications. Uh, carpet seems pretty clean, pretty good. I haven't taken anything apart. Um, I'm gonna do that with you guys. So you're not gonna miss much. Now this did come with some kind of cover and when taking it out, looks like Wolverine hit it. Nice. Oh, it just gets better. Uh, 
All right, so we're gonna have to do something about that. Anyway, so let's put that back in here, make it nice and pretty and hide all the scratches like an animal's been in here. All right, and now back here. So what do we got here? Oh, the jack, look at that. Is that even supposed to be back here? That was supposed to be in the engine bay. Uh, got no speakers. I got no tunes, my friends. Uh, oh, wait, looks like we got something here. Huh. Uh, I think that's supposed to go in there. All right, we'll figure that one out later. But back here looks pretty clean. I mean, underneath looks okay. Yeah, not much to look at. Again, we'll take all this apart and then figure it out. We'll take all this apart and figure out what we need to do. But so far, so good. Uh, most of the time, I feel safe. Uh, headliner, you can kind of see how it's sagging. All right, uh, so headliner, probably gonna have to change it. This looks like it came with the truck back in the 80s, so we might want to change that to something clearer or newer. I'm afraid I even touched that. It looks pretty brittle. It feels pretty brittle. The visors, that one looks pretty good. The other one, not so much. It's like somebody's been hanging out of here, like a monkey or something. I don't know. Maybe somebody had a pet monkey with this. All right, uh, let's climb inside. Is that the keys? Uh, did my wife steal the keys? Life, life. All right, so we're here. Now this is, you know, it's little details. Sometimes the details matter. I'm just gonna close that out. Oh, I really have to slam it. It's just a pet peeve. I like things to be uh, in working order or at least clean or whatnot. So we're gonna go through that. Close the door. Wow, they're actually closed. So, oh, on the door. I'm missing that bushing. You know, the one that most people forget about to replace a very cheap part, which allows me to not slam the door so I can keep it shut. But anyway, onto the keys. All right, before I turn it on, look at the goodies. So I got 3,524 miles. Um, Gauges, they seem to work. No overheating issues, that's good. I'm not quite sure what this is about. I have to look that up. Um, the vents are there. Lights. Lights. Ah! Yep, they work. And this thing, you know, hot rod mod. Got some switches, yay! They don't do anything, I don't think. Maybe they do, I'm not sure. Probably shouldn't do that. We got tag, because we don't know how fast the engine's going. We just know how fast the car is going. Uh, this is the high beams, which we found out after I carefully flipped it on and prayed that there was no, no nuclear weapons launched. So that's good. Got some high beams. The headlights do work, so that's good. This works, that's good. Uh, the tilt, mm, it does work. See, so yeah, I'll tilt it there, oh good. Oh, my groins, hold on. <laughs> All right, so it does tilt down and tilt up, that's good. However, if you were to just a little bit of a push down, Oh God, yep. You feel like you just broke your entire car, but no, it's just the tilt. Crazy, right? All right, uh, next you got more vents. Doesn't even stay up. It goes up, hits a bump. Nope, staying down. This one actually stays up, so that's good. Works pretty well. Might keep that one. Now, here's another fun fact for you guys. It's an Easter egg, right? I taped this to the dash because when I got it, I did not realize that the previous owner got this cover to replace the actual cover. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh at me. The actual cover that's underneath, right? 
because it's all cracked and I will not take this out right now. Actually, you know what? I will take this out because I want to show you guys how much trouble I had to go through driving this thing until I just decided to put some double-sided tape for the meantime until I did these videos to document everything I was doing to the truck for you guys and for me. But anyway, as you can see, this is your second dash. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's right. This is not okay, all right? Whoever did this and did not tell me before I drove off is not okay. Because once I drove off <laughs> and I hit the accelerator to merge into the highway, this thing hit me in the face and I couldn't move the steering wheel. Good, right? So this guy, he just asked my wife if she's okay, but she's waiting outside. So that's very nice of you, guy. Thank you so much. Thank you for caring. Have a nice day. So this is the actual dash. It looks pretty, right? I can probably make some cookies on top of here. Pretty. Yep. That's not even on, is it? How does that even, how does that even come out? Anyway. And over here, looks like a hornet's nest, but it's not. Yay. Ah. <sighs> They said owning a classic would be fun. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. All right, so let's just pretend that that did not happen, that you see nothing, okay? Just don't do that, do not, oh wait. Uh, is that supposed to happen? Well, that'll make it easy for this to be changed, huh? Hmm, let's just put that back in there, pretend it didn't happen. That's good. Does that horn work? Yay, horn works. We got horn. Um, now here's a cool mod. We have a 10 gauge. Pow, pow. Right back in there. Now this fuel tank, right, left, up it. So this fuel tank button, we have two tanks. We have a left and a right. I'm not supposed to switch it to the right. Again, I haven't touched this truck yet, so I'm gonna do that through videos with you guys so we don't all miss out on everything, right? You wanna be part of the fun? Subscribe. All right, so the right-hand fuel tank is probably full of crud. Bunch of stuff, right? Because the truck's been sitting for over a month, and on top of that, the lady that I got it from said that she's never switched the button. So I'm actually afraid to even touch this thing. This is probably like my nuclear button. The big red button I shouldn't touch 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 anyway so only fill up the left hand side gotta keep that in mind don't touch the button and this doesn't even sit right is that supposed to be like that and I don't know what happened here probably like drilled something into here I don't know underneath got a random yellow cable sticking out I'm not sure what that's about oh, let me turn the lights on for you Yellow cable. Now for what you all be waiting for. Let me turn on the truck for you. I promise you it does turn on. All right, let's see. Ah, you're buzzing. Noises. Uh, I think I need to take this out. Uh, yeah, let's not drive it. Ready? Three, <laughs> two, one. Whoops. Oh, right. Carburetor, right? There you go. She's a happy girl. Oh, look at all the smoke. Very nice. I think. Mmm. Smell of gunpowder. That's normal, right? All right, so now that we're inside and you heard me freak out about the dash, let's take a look at the engine. Take a look at 
get the engine back. trying to prank but it made this really really bad sound that it scared the owner and she didn't want to keep trying. Uh, I didn't see any fuel going through the filter. I didn't really see any pressure or whatever. So it was just ticking, ticking, ticking. It was almost like the valves were getting stuck. That's what it sounded like. Which is kind of odd. Uh, but it turns out it was just a battery. She needed our battery. It cranked right up. No issues. So we got a little bit of discount. So thank you for that. So the hood, so here's the thing. See this side? Gaps, eh. A little bit high, but not too bad. Right back here, seems low. But now this is my main concern here. So look, look at the back, very low. So we can fix that. But now running to the front, Ooh, very big gap. So what's happening is when I go to a highway, this seems to be catching wind, which freaks me out so much because this starts lifting. And at some point I thought I was gonna get a hood on my face. So that's probably gonna be the first thing we fix. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Let's see if we can uh, do a few mods. <laughs>